everyone welcome to today's video today's video is another of my makeup collection best and worst of and today is concealers so i have 10 different categories here of my concealers and i'm going to talk you through why i think each of these belongs in that category so make sure you stay tuned make sure you comment like and subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos so very first one i love concealer as a first thing before anything else I love concealer. Concealer is something that if I am wearing like little to no makeup, concealer and brows are like my two things, like my very two first things that I would do. And with everything going on right now with wearing masks everywhere, concealer to me is just really good for making me look covered without having that stuff under my skin that then makes me break out with masking and stuff. So Jessica Braun did these videos and I'm going to have... Um, link her video underneath. So she did an eyeshadow palette one that got me started on all of this. She's not done a concealer one yet, but I'll still link her video because she's the one who gave me the idea to do this. So very first one is my newest concealer. So a little bit of backstory here. A couple of months ago, actually at this point almost a year ago, I realised that a lot of my concealers were super, super light and actually kind of too light for me. So I bought several but my newest definitely is my Dose of Colours Meet Your Hue Concealer in 09 Light. I love this. Even though it's my newest, I've probably had it for about, I think, seven months at this point. So it's £20, which can be quite expensive, but it's a decent amount. I love that it has the kind of big kind of doe foot applicator. You only need the tiniest amount, so this will last you a really long time. I just do like two little dots. It's the concealer I'm wearing today, not that you can like hugely see. You only need like two little dots and it covers my under eye. I don't have tons of like acne where I use concealer to like actually like acne correct and like cover acne. Mine is more, when I use concealer, it's more for brightening and highlighting. So that is definitely my newest and it is absolutely fantastic. I love the shades. They have a huge shade range. Um... This is number nine and I think it goes all the way to number one and obviously I'm quite fair skinned but if you're even fairer than me you could still find a concealer that you could use in that range but absolutely fantastic. I love that they're coming out with more like face products and base products and all that. I'm really happy for that brand. I love that brand. Um, My oldest I think is this MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Concealer in NW10. It is also very light so at the moment, it's not one I'm hugely using a ton of, but I do like it and it does work really well. My only issue with it is it definitely can get a bit like crepey under kind of my eyes. Um, I have wrinkles under my eyes, most people do. I have not found a concealer that doesn't like smudge or crease or like go in the lines, but that's life. Um, but yeah, that's £20 as well, but I do really like it. It's really good. Okay. My most expensive is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Correcting Pot. So yes, this is a concealer, but it's not a typical kind of like light concealer. It's a corrector, so it helps to cover, like I, as a very fair skinned person, get kind of like blue sometimes in here. And this concealer really helps to kind of cover that. So a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll put that this down first and then a brightening concealer in the other parts of my eyes and it just works really well. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. But it is £25. However, I do think it's worth it because you're getting five grams in this. I've used this a ton and you can barely tell. You need so little of it and it does so well at its job that it's similar to like the Bobbi Brown one, which I'm going to mention in a while, um, where... You need hardly any, so you will. it will last you for a really, really long time. And in my opinion, that's worth it if I find something that works. Now, what I think you might find is there's not many shades in this one. So the Bobbi Brown or that Charlotte Tilbury one that I haven't tried yet, but Jessica Brown says amazing, I trust her. Um, you might find a better shade. Bobbi Brown, you'll definitely find a better shade in general because they have more shades. But it is completely possible that you might not find a shade in this and need a different one, but it's really well. Now... I would never use this all over my face because it is really thick and could look really bad really quickly. But like for a tiny little bit under my eyes to like get that colour away, get that any discoloration away, fantastic. Sorry, I keep leaning forward. I have the stuff on the windowsill. Um, my most affordable 
is this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. Um, this is amazing. It is similar coverage to Shape Tape, but much more hydrating and therefore I like it better. Um, I don't like their foundation of this, which I mentioned in last week's video. I don't like the foundation really of this, but the concealer is fantastic and it's only £7 for 13 grams. So when we look back at the other ones, the dose of colours that's £20 is... And it's 7.35ml, let me see the fluence is 0.45, is half of this. This is double of that, sorry is what I meant to say. This is double the amount of product as that dose colours and it definitely will have more than that MAC one because there's no possible way that this MAC one has any more. Okay, Mac, here's one thing I need to say to you, though. Totally off on a tangent. Please put on your website and where your stuff how much actual product is in things. So I have been looking, obviously, to prep for this video, I'm looking at, like, how much is in stuff and all that. And Mac is just one of the websites that doesn't give you a whole lot of information on their website if you have the product. Anyway. So, anyway, sorry. Tangent over. Off my horse. Um, this is fantastic. It's the most affordable worth it comes in so many shades so 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 many shades and it is crazy good now you might not be able to get all the shades on beauty bay which is where i've said you can get it below but you can also get it in super drug and they definitely have like a ton so great um my most repurchased now this is a concealer that i don't use as much anymore but overall has been my most repurchased so this is the sephora gel serum concealer and I buy this in America. Obviously, here I can't buy it because you can't even access support here. You can access support France. And even though I speak French, it's really annoying. Because I used to be able to buy things before GDPR. I could buy things online at Sephora in the US and they would ship it here. Now we can't do that anymore. So I apologize. But this is when I look at it, my most like repurchased. It has the weirdest applicator in the world where it's like a doe foot with like a point but you can only like get look like here so that has a lot of product on it and you can only do like dots because like even if you try it's kind of weird if you try and do that it doesn't go on it anyway it's only 14 dollars, and they do a ton of shades as well so if you are somewhere where you have a sephora if you are in a european country that has a sephora it is definitely worth it it's sephora's own make which are not always great but that is really good and worth it and if you can get a colour that you like and if you're okay with that weird applicator you just got to kind of dot it everywhere like an impressionist I think is the term is that an artist that does dots I think it is anyway moving on so my everyday concealer has to be this number seven lift and luminate serum concealer I love this number seven knows how to do base products they just get it they know how to do foundation they know how to do concealer and they know how to do powder and this is fantastic so this has a doe foot applicator it is like the best light coverage concealer it really is a serum concealer because it's not too liquidy but it's liquidy enough and it is coveraging enough like it has enough coverage Coveraging is not a word. Um, it has enough coverage, but it is absolutely fantastic. And because it's got that serum element, it doesn't dry down really like flat or matte. And it does definitely like keep your under eye looking quite good. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. Fantastic concealer. I bought that during lockdown and I used it a ton since. It's amazing. Okay, right. My most surprising concealer is has to be actually this Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. So I bought the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and the Conceal and Perfect Concealer. The foundation is awful. On me, doesn't look good at all. Far too high coverage, far too matte, far too uh, on me, right? However, this concealer is really, really good. And I think when it's concealer, it can be more high coverage but because you're kind of blending it out more, I am anyway, it makes it okay that it's more high coverage, I think. Anyway, 
I love the applicator. So the applicator is like a flat doe foot applicator and it's absolutely fantastic. It's only, now here's the thing, it's $14.25 which is not hugely expensive. Sorry, the number seven one is £10.50. I just realised I never mentioned. Um, it's $14.25. In America it's about $7. So if you can, if you go to America, obviously nobody's going right now, but if you're going to be going to America, I would suggest you wait and you buy Milani products in the States because they're cheaper, but Boots are selling Milani products now. There is a markup like crazy, but this is possibly worth it actually, because I love that applicator. There's only one other concealer I've had that has that applicator. And I think because the applicator as well, it makes it amazing. But yeah, this was the most surprising because the foundation, the foundation, the foundation version was not it at all, but this is really good. Okay, not worth the hype for me. Oh, sorry, worth the hype first, worth the hype first. Worth the hype is this Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque. Amazing. Same idea as that cosmetics where you like dab it under like on the inside of your eye or it's like a corrector so it's to like cover like blueness or like discoloration and stuff. I have blueness because I'm so pale that you can see my veins sometimes, blueness. Um, this is amazing. I love the fact that it comes with this little mirror. Hello camera set up, hello me. Um, but this is amazing. It also comes in so, so, so many shades. So it's absolutely worth it. It is 20 pounds, which is quite a lot. I'm not saying that's not a lot of money, but you get so many uses that actually to me it's worth it. It's the same as that cosmetics. Both of these, like I think this one I've maybe had for like a year and a half at least. And I, it is still like kicking, it's still going good. It says on here you're supposed to replace it. What's the, where's the little thing? I think it's probably like a 12 month thing. I only use it on me, so I don't have an issue using it past that. But fantastic. Um, if you couldn't find a shade in that cosmetics, the Bobbi Brown is absolutely one to go for. And people talk about it for a reason. It is absolutely great. It And you need the tiniest amount. That's the thing. So you think 1.4 grams is nothing. But, and that's where it's a lot more expensive actually than that cosmetics. But so worth it. Okay, not worth the hype. Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape. I like it. I understand that you can overuse it very, 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 very easily. Okay. Um, you need like the tiniest amount. You need like a dot or two and that will cover your whole under eye. But it's not worth the hype for me because it was so hyped up as being like the best concealer that will not like go into your lines and will not like dry in those lines and make your eyes look creepy. No, it does that. It absolutely does that. It's drying, so it does that. But I still use it. I still like it. It is so high coverage. Like, so high coverage. And I don't think anybody's under eye needs that crazy high coverage. So... I would use it, I use it still, I use it sparingly, as in I think one of these could last you like three years using concealer all the time because of how little you need and because it's huge. So it's a very big, it's like 10 mil. That's a lot of concealer. 10 milliliters is a lot of concealer, but I do like it, but it's not worth the hype when they tell lies and say that it doesn't go into your lines and your fine lines because it does. Okay, my most used which is now sort of changing. Like now that I have that number seven Lift and Illuminate one, I probably use that more. But overall my most used and one that I've bought quite a few times has to be the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So it has that flat doe foot applicator thing that is absolutely fantastic. But my only issue is I've had this a couple of times and tell me if you have this and this has happened to you. That top part has fallen off into concealers. Like I've taken this out and I've had just the plastic bit. But it's a really good concealer. It is really lightweight. It's a weightless complete coverage concealer and I completely agree with that. It's very lightweight. I love it for my under eye. I don't feel like it bags hundreds of stuff on but it makes it nice and look good and it is really good. I use the shade Fair Neutral. It's one of the light shades they have. Don't know about shades how many they have and it is 
24. That's the same price as the Tarte Cosmetics and I would say go for this over Tarte Cosmetics. But it depends what you like. If you want to be high coverage then Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape is the way to go. And if you have like an event, Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape, the way to go. But I don't need Tarte Shape Tape coverage every day. I could use this coverage every day. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like and subscribe and follow us on our Instagram accounts that are coming up now. And make sure you tune in for next week's video, which is going to be the same type of video, Best and Worst Collection, but of my highlighters. Highlighting is maybe my favourite part of my makeup. Anyway, okay. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.